Young Friend of Adolescence, Episode 4. If this is the first time you've seen this, you've seen me review this anime, mga ka lifestyle, you're not mistaken. Because this marks its CHD debut. Basically, um, uh, you and, uh, and the gang are, and his, and his entire class actually, are on a field trip. <laughs> Pero, in reality, it's another training session. Kasi mga, kasi mga future jockeys nga sinip. During this field trip, umasisti sa nila yung twin brother ng, ng isa nilang instructor. Okay? Si instructor Asahi. Na-surprise nga sinip, ba, meron pa, na meron pa nakakambal ito. Ang kakamba niya, isang mongha who runs uh, who runs the family business right now. Yung isang, parang isang in siya. And of course, uh, may sarili siyang templo. Medyo, na uh, medyo walking distance pa. So, they were subjected to, yeah, more rigorous training. Pero, well, we could say Shaolin Temple style. <laughs> Parang ganun yung training eh. Later on, we found out that um that through an accidental playing in his CD player of um one one of uh, one of Mr. Doctor's um songs, nalaman ni ni Yu na fan pala ng Mr. Doctor itong si Aki. So one night nag nag-usap sila na masinsinan. Inamin na ni, ni Aki that yeah I was part of the fan club. So yun eventually yun inamin nga niya that um. Uh, that use moves on the stage were were so cool as if they were flying. Pero reiterate niya uh, in in the opening sequence that in uh, in tomorrow's uh, in tomorrow's trials, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Sabi niyang ganon. So kinabukasan ayun na yung pinaka final exam nila for that um for that field trip. Okay, so they have to so they have to um. Uh, manage their they have to negotiate their horse through some obstacles yung parang 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 equestrian style eh so pagdating sa pagdating sa high steeple okay it was a it's actually used turn na doon niya naalala na okay dance moves alam ko na so he found a way to to make the horse Jump that steeple as gracefully as it can. Ang ganda ng kinilabas. And wow. Everybody was at awe. Even Amane. Even, uh, even Amane, the foreigner. Then sumunod na si Aki. But. Medyo binitin tayo eh. <laughs> Hindi na pinakita ko anong resulta ng, ng pinagawa niyang jump sa kabayo niya. But. Uh, they ended the day with all of them exhausted. All of them were like that <laughs> inside the uh, inside their tour, inside their uh, their tour bus. Final scene. Well, pinakita na lang yung kwarto ni Aki with that special CD na nakalagay. Aki, thanks for everything. You. Mukha. <laughs> Mukhang umiral na ang pagka-fanboy, pagka-Mr. Doctor fanboy ni Aki. And, well, as a sign of gratitude, you autograph his CD. Since this is the CHD debut of this anime, the usual tayo, mga kalaysta. We're gonna break this episode down now, critics of style. Face! You gotta expect from a slice of life anime. Some episodes may have this kind, this slow a pacing. Right? Expect nyo yun. Kung meron, kung hindi kayo sanay na manood ng mga slice of life animes, you ma- you will find this episode dragging. So if I were you, if you're not, um, if you're, um, if you're not into learning life lessons, well, don't watch this anime. Those, well, don't watch this episode, at, at least. But do I have complaints? No! It's the typical pacing of a slice of life anime. Lalo not Field trip ang tema. Siyempre, uh, well, I, I've been, I've been, to, I've been to field trips before when I was, um, when I was still studying. Okay? When I was just a student. So, minsan nakakaalaman ng sikreto, 
minsan nagka nagka ka uh, nagkakasabihan na sama ng loob of course Siyempre, dapat may abos and no oh, oh. worst comes to worst meron 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 mga nag-aaway talaga diyan nagsusuntukan yeah. I've seen those things before lalo nung high school lalo nung high school ako So um yeah the pacing will make you relate thanks to its slowness kung binilisan nila ito walang makakaintindi no one will understand the um the the overall storyline of this episode excuse me <laughs> so i got no complaints guys when it comes to this episode spacing flow naman um Uh, I think I saw only Yeah, one gear shift here. And that was the scene where well, medyo na bisto ni yung no, the accidental playing of um of Yu's former band yung kanta nila, yun nga. Uh, bigla kasi nakalagay pa nga do sa CD sa player ni ano eh, ni, ni Aki nung binuksan. So automatic nag-play yung song na yun. And the look on on use face yup that was priceless pero well, for me it's a no brainer of a gear shift mga lifestyle kasi well if you would base it on the look on on how uh, you looked when <laughs> when Mr. Doctor's uh, song played and and I'm very sure his vocals he was lead vocals in that song yung Walk for Dream so Nakit na 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 nila siya siguro na. Okay, bakit? Oh, he. If you would, if you would deep dive into that gear shift, siguro um what's running through you's mind at that time is why is he giving me a hard time? Eh, aba, eh die hard fan pa na ng die hard fan pa na namin to. Yeah, it really made you think. Then eventually, ayun nga, it uh, went on to the scene where in ayun nga inamin na ni Aki na yeah he's a yeah he's a Mr. Doctor fanboy. Member nga ng fan club, eh, kaya nasa nakaku ng gan, kaya nga kaya nasa naka <clears throat> naka acquire ng ng rare CD na yun eh. It's exclusively for fan club members only. So, <laughs> and personally. Natawa ako sa gear shift na to kasi Ba You hate you Arimura while you're listening to one of Mr. Doctor's songs you you fucking hypocrite <laughs> Based on the gear shift on that gear shift that I saw it will it will play a role down the line in this anime plot lies um Nope no side stories or back stories kaya super linis ang plot mga ka lifestyle Patreon because rarely do you see uh, a slice of life animes episode uh, with the um with a, with, a, with either a side or a backstory cinched in that will that did not affect the overall storyline of the episode kasi Slice of life na eh. Kailangan malinis ang plot mo rito. You are imparting a life lesson. Kaya nga slice of life. You want to impart a life lesson to the audience. And you you can't possibly do that by singeing in a side or a backstory. Kailangan tuloy-tuloy ang focus ng audience. Yeah, yeah. No, it made me focus. Okay? It, really made me, it really made me focus this episode. And um... Yeah, lesson learned. <clears throat> well, bottom line of this episode, lahat tayo may pinaghuhugutan. Everything, ha, uh, every, everyone has a reason uh, to why they're doing such things. So, don't judge easily. That's the lesson you'll learn here. Kaya, well, only a clean plot can do that to you. So, pace, flow, and plot They all came together for this episode, folks. So, Fanfare of Adolescence, episode 4. Muti ko na makalimutan. 
<coughs> Bakit? Well, <coughs> Kasi slice of life anime. The only funny moment I saw here is is when uh, Amane accidentally threw those isang bundle of, bundle of fireworks nung uh, nung bigla siyang kinumpronta ni uh, ni Eri dito yung their, their one and only female uh, classmate well as revealed in in the previous episode he's he feels embarrassed around women he feels embarrassed around girls so He was so embarrassed at that moment. Bigla niyang, bigla niyang na, napatapon ng ganun yung mga paputo. And it landed in the bonfire. Okay? Uh, that, was a, that was a hilarious moment. Pero, uh, another one is of course yung, yung nga yung, yung tinawag natin gearship. Okay? But, if you did not uh, watch the entire episode really carefully, you wouldn't catch that as hilarious. Yung, yung gear shift na yon. So sana Laidus yeah. Laidus is the studio behind uh, this anime. They could have um since in um uh, another at least one more. At least one more funny moment. Total na sa field trip sila. Eh. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. So they they can, yeah, they can I think they can afford to since in one more Uh, one more comedy scene there. Para talagang lumabas ang kanyang pagka slice of life. Well, uh, I learned that from the best slice of life anime ever. K-On! That's why, that's why K-On was both entertaining and educational. Daming life lessons din nun. And of course, uh, maraming funny moments. Per episode, ha? Hindi lang. Walang... Walang, uh, I couldn't remember one serious one serious episode of K on. <laughs> Wala. So, sana dinagdagan nila ng kahit isa man, kahit isa pa. They could have include, they could have uh, added one at least one more funny uh, uh, funny moment sa episode na to. Yan talagang I I may have given them the two thumbs up if they did that. But don't get me wrong, mga like that. It's still a good episode kasi one thumb up eh. It's still a good episode. So again, Panfare of Adolescence, episode 4. Sorry, mga kalahis na. Basta, may, medyo, if they, um, if they flew in another, another comic moment in that episode, sigurado two thumbs up sa akin. Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this one. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, eh, if you, if, uh, if at four episodes in, you already love this anime, eh, chill, chill na lang kayo dyan for, for the next one. So, enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.